The time is now for the FDU women's soccer team as the 2013 campaign ushers in a new era for the Knights. It's the first season for head coach Rick Staten, who says he's excited for the journey ahead. When I received the job, the offer for the position at FDU, I was very excited. Um, I believe there's a ton of potential and you know, one of the best opportunities was meeting the team throughout the process. And when I did so, um, I saw how ambitious they were and that was very motivating for me. And uh, as well as their motivation and their ambition, you know, they were able to express, you know, how, uh, how their team camaraderie was, how tightly bonded they are. The hiring of a new coach brings a different set of expectations to a program. Despite a 5-11-3 overall record last season, senior Sage DeVale believes this team can have a special year. I expect a lot of success just because the um, majority of our team are the sophomore class, so they've got that year of experience under their belt. Uh, they all know the ropes of it, of, uh, of how FDU and how the conference and how out-of-conference play works. So I'm thinking uh, that they're gonna have, this is their year to step up. I think we have a great set of leaders uh, with us as upperclassmen, and I think the sophomores have really stepped up into the roles and, and taken that pressure that they received and ran with it. The Knights had an impressive defensive performance in 2012, giving up just 20 goals in 19 games. But Coach Staten knows that improvements can always be made. In this preseason gave us a lot of opportunity to really work and strengthen our defense. As you said, it was one of the, the best in the league with the goals against average. Um, really working on goalkeepers. Uh, we have a goalkeeper coach in Christina Reuter, who was a tremendous player and also a former assistant at Seton Hall. Um, you know, she's working on their technical ability to help prevent, you know, that, that soft goal that might go in. Uh, defenders, we've been working on their team shape uh, with a lot of emphasis of mobility and being able to move with each other and support each other. There were struggles offensively, but senior Liz Langer says the goals will come easier this season. Our sophomore class is super aggressive and they do have that year under their belt, so they're comfortable on the field. I think uh, we have those goal scorers this year. We have some really fast players, some creative players. I think we have all the tools to score a lot of goals this season. Much of the excitement surrounding the team centers on the Knights talented sophomore class. One of those sophomores, midfielder Katie Arathun, is anticipating a strong year two. With the year under our belt, we have a lot of experience with the speed of play and also with the strength of the other teams. We have a lot of girls, knowing that we have the same girls to play with, we're going to make a lot more connections and we know how each other plays now. So we're going to be able to penetrate easier and to make decisions quickly. The Knights open their season at home against the Iona Gales on Friday, August 23rd at 7 p.m. Their first Northeast Conference game is also a home tilt versus Mount St. Mary's on October 4th. I'm John Lauder for FDUNights.com.